Uh, some concerns basically through your website. And My website? Well, some, some, type of, com? Hey, some type of online publications. Basically, like you I read I, something I online? Wanna, okay. I just want to have a, a good conversation because, like, you guys were very good at public safety. You were very concerned. Were? Well, you, you are still. I just haven't been your inspector for a while. But regardless, um, I've never seen people open a restaurant and try so hard and do so well. So I'm just, I'm confused why, you know, the idea is going around and yet, you know, I've not observed any offense here today. Are you sitting here? But the publications are saying that you're not checking vaccine status and we're just trying to understand. I'm not checking vaccine status. Uh, we got the chair set out there for you guys. Been waiting a month. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, you haven't right. showed up yet. We've been very busy, Steve. It's really. Just, well, we've been busy I too. I can't I be checking people's passports. No, I know. But I'm saying. But you know, well, that's good. So are you sending the manpower? I don't want to have a fight. I just want to discuss what you're doing or not doing. Right. Patrick can take it. I'll take it from here. So our idea today is like you and I can discuss. More, more or less, I'm here just to fact find what are you doing, what you doing, where we can prove, that kind of stuff. What I can prove? Yeah. If there is room for improvement. If there's room for improvement, you know. And Chris will conduct your kitchen inspection, which I doubt will probably just go fairly quickly. Well, we'll see how this goes before anyone goes in the kitchen. Right on, right on. That's what I want to go. All right. So you think I'm I'm sitting down. We're good. So you expect me to ask people for photo ID when they come in here before they're allowed to sit down. Photo ID with their birth date on it and a vaccine passport before they're allowed to sit down. That is what That's what you are you demanding that I do here. What do I do? We're not demanding when I, you do that. What do I do uh, in inclement weather? We've got some uh, old people, customers that are going by that need to come in. Uh, I'm going to turn them down because they don't have, uh, they're not participating in this? The regulation states. No, I'm asking you, do you want me, I have to turn these people down because they don't have to, a passport. They can't come in here and seek shelter, have a warm cup of coffee and sit down without showing ID. And that's what you're wanting me to do here. Seeking is shelter that is, a different, is a different thing than being a patron and sitting down and eating. Instance, so if I give so if I give everybody food, then that's different. Yeah. No, it doesn't make any difference. Oh, so but it's the, the commercial aspect of this that it's you guys have an issue with. It's the it's the risk level, right? When people are eating, it's they not have the masks, right? Yeah. People can enter yeah. buildings to use the washroom, do uh, paper orders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Things that take less than fifty minutes and don't require you to take a mask off. It's when people take their masks off that they, you know, it's a small business. You don't have a million covers or servers. But when people, and they seem to get their food out of the counter, but when people, you know, get close to each other without masks, that's the risk, right? And I don't see, like, when this all started, I don't think you had a problem with the masks. No, I am not violating anyone's right. Uh, yeah. People are allowed to go anywhere in Canada without showing photo ID. A cop can't do it. Okay, now go ask these people, everyone here, try to get some freaking photo ID out of them. Do you well, think you have the I'm right to ask them? Any, I, any, of your any of you not. think you have the right to ask any of these people? I'm not observing any offenses. Do you believe offenses? you have the right to ask any of these people? I haven't checked any passports today. Do you believe you have the authority to check anyone's freaking ID in here right now? That's As our eventual offenses officer. I'm going for a yes or no here, sir. Under certain, under certain circumstances, perhaps. Try, try, try asking people here. I have no reason. We don't want to engage anyone and do anything like that. They, we don't want to cause a... If you don't think you have the authority, problem. I clearly won't have the authority either. If you don't have the authority, you can't bestow that authority on me. Right. right. We're okay, we're now we're on the same page. We're just here. So you're welcome to come here and check people's vaccine passports if you want. Because I'm not going to do it, and it's not going to happen here. Unless you people provide the manpower, and you're welcome to sit out there on a nice, warm, comfy chair I'll provide for you at a very reasonable rate. Mr. Mr. Hill, we're just, I am just here just to determine what your compliance level is under arrest? We're not checking the vaccine passports. Let's work with that. What are you going to do? All right. Have you just thought of maybe just operating under a takeout? Model? No. People have... We opened this place so people would have the dignity of social dining. And now we're not allowed to allow them to sit freaking down? Because you're just following orders from Mr. Ford? We do have a job to do. Um, you can just say you're just following orders all you want. I am not freaking checking anyone's frickin ID or medical information here are asking for it. So how do you want to proceed? Well, a couple ways we can go about it. 
All right, we can explore our legal options, of course. All right, we can take it either at a personal level or individual. No, I want to know what you're doing today about this. We've been in limbo. You guys haven't done squat, haven't popped out. We need to settle this. What are you going to do about this? We're not checking passports. We're not going to. Okay. Are you willing to pay an individual fine then? Or would you rather we take it to the, on the business? For what? For failure to comply with the order. The continued order under... Uh... Well, if you're going to give us a ticket, then we're shutting down. And uh, there's no issue about compliance then. Because this place will be done if you're shutting it down. If you're going to force me to ask people our, for freaking photo not ID, you down. don't get us. Like, I don't, I don't well, want that's to what's down. going to happen here. You see the freaking prices? We're not here for the freaking money. You give us any kind of fine, it'll cripple this place. And you seem comfortable just sleeping at night, saying I was following orders. Wow. I'm not. If you're going to issue us a fine, we'll fucking lock the doors now, and we're done. But Steve, it's just, it's a law. We didn't make the law, right? And if you... Speak, I just, I don't want any just following orders road, crap from you. I want I to know what you guys are doing here. We're not switching to takeout. We're not making people fucking sit outside and have some people get to sit here. We We're not board. doing segregation here, period. Well, it's not happening. So if you're going to issue us a fine, if that's the way you're going to do, we're going to lock the fucking doors. Well, I have a feeling so what are you going to do? Well, I have a feeling if I ask you for ID, I'm not going to get it. Can I have your ID? I want to see your ID and okay, your... Well, I have some ID right here. No, I need a driver's license, ma'am. Photo yeah. ID with your birth date on it. I would like to see that. You expect me to ask these people for it? I want to see yours. Well, I'm not going to do that. Why? You expect everyone else to. So, no, you can either stand down... Tell Ford you're not following orders, and people are going to have the dignity of being able to come in and sit down and have a cup of coffee whenever they want, or threaten with an order, a fine, and we'll lock the doors. Make up your mind. Here, I don't have all day. Some stuff. Maybe you need to just educate yourself a bit. No worries. Go back on history. And no worries. If you don't understand what you're doing, we'll provide this for you. The regulation. You haven't read it lately. Oh, I'm not interested because uh, what are you doing? Are you giving me a fine? Are you threatening to give me a fine? I'm not. Have you guys ever uh, heard or read anything about what the Nazis did? Well, this is what I'm trying to say. You have to that's what you're doing. You're in right. like the gulag right now. And they, that's all they said was we were doing our job. So you're refusing to provide your photo ID and vaccine passport information and here. They were done with them. What did they do? Like Would you like to confirm sure. that again? You're on a couple videos here. So are you going to threatening us with a fine, or how are you going to proceed? No, no, no. We're going to leave you Nobody threatening no, anyone. It's, We're just leave you, you just asked me a little while ago how I would like my fine. Are you backing down from the fine, sir? Steve, we have We're going to explore our legal options right now. Thank you for your time. Yeah, have a good day.